Good morning. Welcome to this Wednesday, October 21st here at Cross of Hope. Um, you will hear a few little giggles in the background. We have one of our um, elementary classes outside um, the building right now. So um, greetings to everyone uh, for taking time this morning. Uh, also, welcome to all those who will watch this later um, throughout the day um, on our YouTube page and it can also it stays on our Facebook page too. So, good morning, Karen. Um, I'm going to start ahead. The reading today out of the Christ in Your Home devotional is from the entire sixth chapter of Daniel. Um, I'm going to start though at verse 16. Then the king gave the command, and Daniel was brought and thrown into the den of lions. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you faithfully serve, deliver you. A stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet and with the signet of his lords, so that nothing might be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting. No food was brought to him, and sleep fled from him. Then at break of day, the king got up and hurried to the den of lions. When he came near the den where Daniel was, he cried out anxiously to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you faithfully serve, been able to deliver you from the lions? Daniel then said to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me because I was found blameless before him. And also before you, O king, I have done no wrong. Then the king was exceedingly glad and commanded that Daniel be taken up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no kind of harm was found on him because he had trusted in his God. The king gave a command and those who had accused Daniel were brought and thrown into the den of lions, they, their children, and their wives. Before they reached the bottom of the den, the lions overpowered them and broke all their bones in pieces. Then King Darius wrote to all peoples and nations of every language throughout the whole world, may you have abundant prosperity. I make a decree that in all my royal dominion, people should tremble and fear before God, before the God of Daniel. For he is the living God, enduring forever. His kingdom shall never be destroyed, and his dominion has no end. He delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. For he has saved Daniel from the power of the lions. So this Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the Persian. Today's devotion is entitled, Taming Lions. Has your God, whom you faithfully serve, been able to deliver you from the lions? Verse 20. A friend of mine once asked me what seemed like an innocent question. He was looking for some factual information, which I willingly shared. A few days later, I got an angry phone call with a mutual friend of ours. My friend had used the information I had unwittingly provided to attack our friend. I learned that seemingly innocent questions aren't always so innocent. Ever had an experience like that? That's kind of what happened to King Darius. The Persian officials used his vanity to trick him into doing something he later regretted. Fortunately, God does not deal with us that way. God sees through our foolishness, our vanity, our attempts to manipulate one another, and even God. God does not mislead us or try to hoodwink us into doing things we'll later regret. Instead, God's love for us is steadfast, steadfast and unwavering. And because God is always trustworthy, we, like Daniel, can trust that the lions will ultimately do us no harm. Join me in the prayer. Faithful God, protect us from the wiles of others through our faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. And the prayer concerned for today is difficult and strained relationships. 
Thank you all for joining me again today. Um, it should be Pastor Adam on tomorrow. So everyone, um, goodbye and have blessings on your day ahead.